PayPal, one of the world's first fintech giants that emerged in early 2000, has proven itself to hold one of the royal seats near the fintech industry throne. SoFi is a one-stop shop for your financial needs. It went public in the second half of 2021, almost 20 years after PayPal began. One of SoFi's ambitions is to expand globally and has already started expanding in Asia, specifically in Hong Kong. Is SoFi set to follow the footsteps of Elon Musk's original plan for PayPal, or will it surpass it? Welcome to Wealth Gambit. On this channel, we cover the latest news in the financial space, whether it's stock movements or clashes between financial giants. If you guys like this type of content or happen to gain any value, then subscribe and hit the notification bell to get posted when we drop new videos. And also, note that we are not financial advisors, so please do your own due diligence. Shout out to Marek Kovar, Fanta Felix, and Striker50 for being real ones and commenting on our previous videos. We appreciate the comments and the positive feedback. Let us know down below if you want us to cover any specific stocks or topics. In this video, we will go over PayPal's history and its humble beginnings as a fintech company and compare it with one of the most aggressive fintech startups today, SoFi. Back in the day, this so-called pioneer of fintechs was immensely criticized for being one of the worst ideas in the financial space. <laughs> Just like any other company, PayPal had to work day and night to prove their worth in the late 1990s. PayPal went public in February 2002 at $13 per share, and its market cap at the time was less than $1 billion. eBay acquired PayPal in 2002, then they split up in 2015 due to the pressure of activist investors. Around 2015, the company's stock was priced at around $34 per share. Fast forward to 2021, PayPal stock is moving at around $274 per share with a market cap of more than $321 billion. Now compare that from when they first began almost two decades ago. In 2002, they had less than $1 billion in market cap and now they have around $321 billion in market cap. That's like a 32,000% increase in almost 20 years. PayPal stock was priced at $13 when they went public in 2002 and today their stock price is moving around $274 representing an increase of about 2,008%. SoFi went public on June 1st, 2021, and its stock closed 12% higher at $22.65 and was valued at around $8.65 billion on its first day of trading. When asked about his vision on SoFi going public, this is what SoFi CEO Anthony Noto had to say. The journey that we embarked on in, in February 2018 uh, it wasn't so much about becoming a public company as it was about building a complete suite of products on a mobile application to help us meet our members' needs at every point in their life and be there for every one of the major financial decisions they'd make and everything in between. Um, we knew at some point we would have to think about going public, but we wanted to make sure we solidified not only that strategy, but actual results tied to that strategy, which we have. And it was at that point that we then decided to go public. And it was really just a question of what was the right vehicle? Do you do a direct listing? Do you do a regular way IPO? Do you do a SPAC merger IPO? And we obviously chose the path of doing a private investment plus a pipe and a SPAC all combined in one. Uh, and we're really happy with the choice that we've made and the outcome we see here today. After almost four months since its IPO, SoFi stock is now priced at around $17 at the time of recording this, and its market cap is over $14 billion. You may notice that its stock price is lower than when it started trading. If you're curious as to why, we've done over 20 SoFi videos going into detail about the company, so be sure to check that out. We'll put the link in the description down below. On the other hand, SoFi's market cap when it went public in June 2021 was $8.65 billion, and today, after almost four months, Months after it went public, SoFi's market cap is valued around $14 billion, representing an increase of about 62% in just a span of four months. At the rate at which SoFi is growing right now, do you think it will eventually catch up to PayPal? Comment down below what you think. Let's take a deep dive into the history of PayPal before it reached its $326 billion market cap. For almost three straight years after it launched, the company had to deal with a pretty tough fight, incurring losses of about $283 million in total before it even went public. Sounds familiar, right? Not only that, PayPal had only $100 million in cash. So do you ever wonder what kind of trick they pulled off despite the odds not being in their favor? The global giant had planted the route for the rising fintechs today. Despite the tough and competitive market, PayPal surely knows no limit and whatever stands in their way 
they make sure they beat him. And you know what? SoFi has the same huge amount of potential getting ready to be on the show once everyone understands its business in the near future. Now, let's try to dig deeper into how PayPal built the global financial empire in the last two decades it's been in business. There are just three key factors to remember, or at least according to our sources. First up, security. When it comes to getting that trust in their clients, PayPal has really made this a big deal in their operations. It has thousands of personnel just to make sure that no one leads better security, control, and risk management in the industry. On top of that, they actually incorporated artificial intelligence just to add up another layer of security and competency. And basically, SoFi has now taken the same spotlight after acquiring just last year. This company allows them to gain even more opportunities the same way PayPal did by utilizing the most awaited technology of our era. And that's none other than the use of artificial intelligence technology. Another element for PayPal success is through partnerships. And what's making it cool is that rather than spending lots of money competing with others, they teamed up with their biggest competitors, Visa, MasterCard, and Discover. Hence the quote, if you can't beat them, join them. And in this case, PayPal is wise enough to partner with them. It's actually a pretty smart strategy, saves a lot of money and headaches, and it gives them the huge opportunity to go abroad. Can you spot the difference? SoFi and Square, or one of SoFi's competitors in the same line of business. Square is a multifaceted fintech company that just brought in 666% of growth or about $4 billion in revenue just in the first quarter of the year. And if you didn't know, Square just partnered up with the SoFi Stadium. Last but definitely not least, the most obvious, PayPal had its edge over the industry and its offerings. It relies heavily on innovation for the satisfaction of its users. And it's proven increased customer engagement, making it fuel the revenue even more. And with that, we're gonna save you the time for due diligence and we give you Anthony Noto. Um, so SoFi is a one-stop shop for um, consumer personal financial needs. We on a mobile platform offer you um, products to help you um, save better, spend better, borrow better, protect and invest better, which basically means we offer uh, in-school loans, personal loans, which are unsecured um, term loans with fixed rates and variable rates. We offer home loans. Um, in addition to that, we refinance student loans. So if you went to college and funded your college via federal student loans and the government gave you like an 8% interest rate to give everyone a flat rate and your credit score is strong and you deserve a better rate than 8%, we'll refinance at a lower rate, like four or 5%. In addition to that, we offer SoFi Invest, which is the ability to buy single stocks for no commissions. We also offer fractional shares, which we pioneered. Um, in addition to that, we created SoFi robo accounts, which are automated accounts that you can invest in. And it's a collection of different ETFs against a specific investment style, conservative, aggressive growth, et cetera. Um, and then we also offer cryptocurrency, um, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and, and 16 other coins on the platform for invest. In addition to that, we have a product called SoFi Money, which is a it's like a checking savings account, although it's not a checking or savings account. It's you get a debit card, you can pay your bills with the debit card or ACH. You can pay with your phone at retail or online. Um, you can also pay your friends person to person, do direct deposit. Um, we give you your paycheck two days early if you do direct deposit with us. Uh, we give you an interest rate on your cash and on all of your cash, not just what's in savings. We have no restrictions on your cash. We charge no fees. Uh, and we also give you free overdraft protection. Uh, we have features like Roundup when you spend and we'll take the Roundup and put it into a vault for you, which is like a savings account. Uh, and in, in addition to that, we also can create auto savings. Um, we recently launched SoFi Credit Card. It's positioned as the only credit card to help you get out of debt as opposed to get into debt. So we give you 1% rewards when you use the card. But if you redeem your reward points into SoFi Money or SoFi Invest or to pay your SoFi personal loan or student loan, we double the rewards. Um, we also have rewards overall. So we give rewards not just for the credit card. We give rewards for how often you use the app. We give rewards if you set up direct deposit, you set up recurring investments. Our goal in rewards is to give you uh, rewards for three things. One is how often you use our products. That could be the app, that could be re, uh, that could be using the credit card. Uh, we also give you rewards for how often you do things to improve your financial life. PayPal had set the stage for fintech companies and it would only be fair to say that it was one of the first companies to set standards in the fintech industry. 
SoFi might learn a thing or two from PayPal's two decades in the fintech industry, and it will be such an amazing sight to see SoFi grow as big or even bigger than PayPal, and especially from the investor's perspective like us. In one of his interviews with CNBC, SoFi CEO Commander Noto was asked why investors should invest in SoFi and its edge among many other fintech companies out there, and here was his response. We're the only one-stop shop to do all of your financial services needs on one platform. Others talk about adding other products and diversifying, but only SoFi has done it. SoFi is the only place you can use, you can take out four different types of loans. It's the only place you can invest on a mobile app in single stocks without commissions, fractional share, robo-advisory accounts, ETFs, five of our own ETFs, as well as cryptocurrency. Also a credit card. And in addition to that, SoFi Money, which allows you to pen, uh, spend, pay, and save any way that you want. And so many people have talked about broadening the product and broadening the suite of products, but only SoFi has done it on one mobile platform. If you wanted to invest in both cryptocurrency and single stocks and robo, you'd have to use at least two other apps if you didn't choose SoFi. And so we're very unique in that we are the only one-stop shop. We charge no fees on our loans. In addition to that, we charge no fees or overdraft uh, fees as it relates to SoFi money. We get your paycheck to you two days early. So uh -huh. each product, each product is meant to be built best in class on its own. And cool. after you use that product and we build trust with you, you'll choose your second product from us. And uniquely, not only are we a one-stop shop, we're making it so that each product works better when you use it with more than one of our products. That wraps it up for today's video, guys. If you found any value in this content, be sure to like and subscribe and help us reach our goal of 5,000 subscribers. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and get updated whenever we upload valuable content. Until next time, peace.